Reptiles are a class of animals that have scaly skin and lay eggs. There are more than 10,000 species of reptiles, including snakes, lizards, turtles, and crocodiles. Reptiles are found on every continent except Antarctica. These are the top four reptiles that nearly went extinct. 4. The Komodo dragon was nearly hunted to extinction for their meat and skins. The Komodo dragon was nearly hunted to extinction for their meat and skins. Reptiles are now a protected species, but their populations are still in decline. The main threat to Komodo dragons is habitat loss and fragmentation. Hunting and trade of Komodo dragons also continues, despite being illegal. Komodo dragons are the largest lizards in the world, and can grow up to 3 meters in length. They are found in the Lesser Sunda Islands of Indonesia, and are the only member of the genus Varanus. Komodo dragons are carnivorous, and will eat anything they can kill. Their primary prey are deer and pigs, but they will also eat smaller animals, birds, and reptiles. Komodo dragons are excellent swimmers, and have been known to travel up to 10 kilometers offshore. They are also proficient climbers, and will often climb trees in search of food. The Komodo dragon is an iconic species, and is an important part of the Indonesian ecosystem. However, their populations are in decline, and they face many threats. Habitat loss and fragmentation are the main threats to Komodo dragons. Hunting and trade of Komodo dragons also continues, despite being illegal. Komodo dragons are protected under Indonesian law, and international trade is regulated by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora sites. However, more needs to be done to ensure the long-term survival of this species. Increasing public awareness of the plight of the Komodo dragon is critical, and stricter enforcement of laws and regulations is needed to prevent hunting and trade. 3. The Galapagos iguana was brought to the brink of extinction by introduced predators and habitat loss. The Galapagos iguana was once a thriving species, inhabiting the Galapagos Islands off the coast of Ecuador. However, the introduction of predators such as rats and cats, as well as habitat loss due to human activity, has brought the iguana to the brink of extinction. Today, there are thought to be only around 5,000 Galapagos iguanas remaining in the wild, making them one of the most endangered reptiles in the world. The Galapagos iguana is a unique and fascinating creature. Its scaly skin is greenish-gray in color, and it can grow up to 6 feet in length. The iguana is an excellent swimmer and climber, and is often seen basking in the sun on rocks or in trees. The iguana is an important part of the Galapagos ecosystem, and plays a role in dispersing the seeds of the plants it eats. The primary threat to the Galapagos iguana is introduced predators. Rats and cats were brought to the Galapagos by humans, and they have wreaked havoc on the native wildlife. These predators have decimated the iguana population, as they prey on eggs and young iguanas. In addition, habitat loss due to human activity is also a major threat to the iguana. The Galapagos Islands are a popular tourist destination, and the development of resorts and other infrastructure has led to the destruction of iguana habitat. The Galapagos iguana is a species that is in desperate need of conservation. Without action, this unique reptile will likely disappear from the Galapagos Islands forever. 2. The loggerhead sea turtle was also nearly wiped out by humans due to hunting and the destruction of their nesting grounds. The loggerhead sea turtle was once on the brink of extinction due to hunting and the destruction of their nesting grounds by humans. However, thanks to conservation efforts, the loggerhead sea turtle population has made a comeback in recent years. Today, these turtles can be found in all oceans except for the Arctic and Antarctic. Loggerhead sea turtles get their name from their large, block-like head. These turtles can grow up to 3 feet in length and weigh up to 400 pounds. Loggerhead turtles are mostly brown or reddish-brown in color, with a yellow or white underside. Loggerhead turtles are omnivorous, meaning they eat both plants and animals. Their diet consists of crabs, fish, mollusks, and seaweed. Loggerhead turtles are endangered due to a variety of factors, including hunting, the destruction of nesting grounds, egg collection, pollution, and entanglement in fishing gear. However, thanks to conservation efforts, the loggerhead turtle population is slowly but surely increasing. If you're ever lucky enough to see a loggerhead turtle in the wild, be sure to give them space and do not disturb their nesting grounds. By doing so, you can help ensure that these amazing creatures continue to thrive for years to come. 1. The American alligator was once on the brink of extinction due to hunting and habitat loss. The American alligator is a large reptile that is native to the southeastern United States. Alligators are semi-aquatic, meaning they spend time both in the water and on land. They are carnivorous, meaning they eat other animals. Alligators were once on the brink of extinction due to hunting and habitat loss. 
However, they have made a comeback and are now considered to be a species of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Alligators are still hunted for their meat and skin, but this is regulated by state and federal laws. Alligators are an important part of the ecosystem. They help to keep the population of prey animals in check, which can help to prevent overgrazing of vegetation. Alligators also help to aerate the soil by digging holes and nests. The future of alligators is uncertain. Climate change is a threat to alligators and other reptiles as it can cause changes in temperature and precipitation patterns. Alligators also face competition from invasive species such as the Burmese python. Despite the challenges, alligators have shown that they are resilient creatures. With proper management and conservation, alligators will continue to be a part of the ecosystem for many years to come. We hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this.